Hi, Chris Dawes here from Visual PR. I was asked to put my life at risk at the Swindon Wildcats end of season awards night recently, thanks to Paul Norbury, by taking the mickey out of the players, ice hockey players. The idea was that Paul Norbury and Stacey Sprawls from the Swindon Wildcats Supporters Club had a series of video outtakes from when they were recording our Wildcats players previewing or drawing the winners of the Wish for a Warm-Up Jersey competition. See, I can make the mistakes as well. You're about to see a few more. I had to provide mock PR or media tips for them as we showed the outtakes. I'm pleased to say that I survived it, hence I'm here, thank you. But I think that's why Paul Norbury has now asked me to record them in an it'll be all right on the night style for the social channels. Thanks, Paul. But here goes. Wish me luck. So the first one we're going to look at is how first impressions count. Make sure you are suitably dressed, aware of the camera watching your every move, and that your hair is just right. Obviously not something that I have to worry about. Hi, guys. Whoa. Because you're worth it. <laughs> the next one is make sure that you know your subject. It's important to know what you're talking about and what you're going to say. Or at least make sure that one of you does. What is it we're saying? <laughs> what is it supporters? Make sure the head of the supporters desk. So, is it supporters desk? The uh, supporters club table on the entrance to the building. Wait, wait. Yeah, that sounds good to me. <laughs> wait, was it? Make sure that there is the supporters desk and grab your whip. <laughs> Wait, make, sure, wish make sure to you win, a, win one of our women jerseys. Is that what they're buying? Is that what yeah, they call the what wish? Yeah. Okay. Is that good? <laughs> 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 it's harder to say than you might think, so well done, guys. Next are the tips. Practice your lines. Kind of leads on from the last one, but just make sure that you are practicing what it is you've got to say, even if it's over practicing. And if you can't, make sure you style it out in the best possible way. Thanks for my wishes to be one of our jerseys. Um, number that and then say their name got mine. I'll say winner of my one is. Wait, make sure you wish. Make sure you win a war with one of our women jerseys. Make sure you get your wishes, wishes for the moment. Hey, I'll, I'll, I'll finish at. We're auctioning off our warm-up jerseys, and you can say, get to the table to get your wishes early or something. Fine. Uh, just say one of ours. Say one of these idiots or something. All right. All right, ready? Make sure you get your wishes for one of mine or these two Nantes warm-up jerseys. And then you go, the winner of my one is, I get, no, I say the winner of Goddess's one is. All right. And how's that? Oh, you're recording, he's recording already. Wasn't too bad, was it? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely love it. Absolutely brilliant. The next one up has got to be rehearse, rehearse, rehearse. Surely you'll eventually get it right. Just, just practice again. Go. Hi everyone. Myself and Tyler's jerseys are up for grabs. Head to the supporters club desk to buy your wishes. Hey guys, Colby and Gail here. Um, we want to. Uh, <laughs> Make sure you head over to. <laughs> Get your wishes. Your wishes. Ha! Dang! Hey guys, all three of our warm up shirts are available for. Ha! <laughs> 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 you got to do it. Okay. Right. Don't just love how our Canadian dudes can make the mistakes and still make it look cool. Awesome job, guys. Next one up. Make sure that you attend your PR appointments. It's nice and easy to promote 
before a competition happens and, and then be there for the camera to record the draw taking place because you're told where to be and when to be there. Surely it's impossible to miss the appointment. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Either my two bodyguards or my warm-up jersey this week. And unfortunately, Goddess isn't here tonight, so the winner of Goddess's warm-up shirt is... Paul Williams. Congratulations. And the winner of my shirt is... The opportunity to win my shirt, or even just Aaron Mills. Uh, if you're really lucky, all right? But you got to be in it to win it. Uh, look forward to joining the winner next week. Cheers. Just needed to be there. They drank the forfeits at the awards do, though. Next tip, make sure everybody speaks. Don't over-talk them because it's clear that everyone wants their chance. Don't keep the spotlight that they yearn. You can tell they want it. Let them have it. I think that's the case anyway. Make sure you head over to the sports club stand and get your wishes to win one of either my two bodyguards or my warm-up jersey this week. Hey, Wildcat fans, uh, me and Stevie Whitfield here for uh, our jerseys, our warm-up jerseys on the week. Jones and Valley here, and thanks for buying your wishes to win our warm-up shirts. Your support for the competition has been amazing, and we're very grateful. Hey, guys, all three of our warm-up shirts are available for uh, raffle this week. Head over to the supporters club table on Saturday, and you'll find out the winner next week. Yeah, did you see that last bit? Basically, what we're saying is, if you can't get involved, just do your impression of a glamorous game show host. Next up, honesty is the best policy. To make sure you keep your conscience clear, never tell fibs. Or how would you be able to sleep at night? Maybe have a think about that when you're watching this. Can you give me a little drum roll, please? Oh, my God. Oh, I get it. All right, first number. We got number 12. Number 12. Who is it? Let's see. Number 12 is Lucy Nobry. Oh, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, no. Sorry, Lucy, it won't be you. It's uh, Rachel Weaven. Shocking behaviour. I love the look on Colby Tower's face as he realised what his teammate was doing there. But he didn't jump in, to be fair. He left it to him to dig his own grave. The next one, no private jokes. Whilst, of course, it's always good to include humour and make sure that everyone is in on the joke, Never make them your own private jokes. And of course, maintain decency throughout. And the winner of mine is... Oh, 69. <laughs> 69. <laughs> Susie Jones. <laughs> and unfortunately, Goddess isn't here tonight, so the winner of Goddess's warm-up shirt is... Number 69. <laughs> Mel Beckett. Congrats, Mel. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> of course you have to bring out number up. Oh, God. Oh. Wasn't too bad, was it? <laughs> I love how Eddie really stitched his teammate, Luke Johnson, up there, claiming he had no idea what the joke was about but still giggling along as well, as well. Not as much as the three lads, eh? That was some serious giggling, boys. Absolutely brilliant. Next one. Make sure that you pronounce names correctly. It's really important to uh, make sure that you, you've got them because they're listening to this and they want it pronounced correctly. Most of you did really well. Olivia Lucas. Number 10, uh, Dan Evans. Josie and Sprouls. Paul Williams. Congratulations. Lauren Dortz. Rowan Sprills for my jersey. Tom Graham. Lisa Williams, well done. Martin Mason. Martin, <laughs> Martin Mason, if anyone can't understand what he said. 
Now, there's some wonderful irony here is that they all got it correct. But Bully, Sam Bullas, made sure that we understood what Plusy was saying, even though he got it right. The irony that followed was this. 99. Never mock if you're the one that's going to make the mistake next, but brilliant work. My final comment, my final tip is if all else fails, go absolutely nuts. Tyler Perry, take it away, my friend. Special teams, special plays, special players.